Good morning friends and neighbors, it's G5 coming to you with a gadget video. Um, I've been looking into PA amplifiers for home stereo use and I thought I'd share with you a little bit about what I found, a model I selected, some of the pros and cons and how this worked out for me. This is the Crown XLS 1502. It's part of their Powerlite 2 series if I remember right. Um, and it, well, XLS series, but it has the power light uh, power supply in it. It's pretty inexpensive. This amp is rated 300 watts into 8 ohms. And my speakers, these Definitive Technology VP2000s are 8 ohms. So we're getting about 300 watts to each, each tower. A couple things that I really like about this amp. Uh, first of all, it's quiet. All right, I can turn it on, and you'll see... No thump, no fan noise, it's just silent. Now there is a fan in there, uh, and if for some reason you should happen to push it really, really hard, I guess the fan will come on. But for a home application, I, I've not yet been able to push it hard enough to where I could hear the fan in any way. In fact, the transport on that cheap Blu-ray player is at all times louder than the amp itself. Um, the other thing is it the absence of other noise, which is hiss. You can see I got the gains nearly dimed, and you know the only hiss that's perceptible is if you put your face right up, like your ear on the tweeter. Uh, from even three inches away, you can't hear it. So I'm very impressed with that. Two particular features make this uh, appropriate. This has binding post outputs, not just the standard speak on connectors that are very popular for live sound applications but a particular feature is the sensitivity of this amp is adjustable from the pro standard of 1.4 volts down to a more consumer friendly 0.775 volts that makes it a lot easier to drive the amp if you have consumer gear which is generally lower output now i have a consumer preamp this is onkyo here um, it's a preamp processor from, I don't know, 2010 time frame. I bought it used on eBay because I don't have the money for some of those, the latest and greatest everything. But uh, the Onkyo does have XLR outs as well as RCA outs, and the XLS works very well with this setup. Um, lots of power, and the home application says more than you'd ever need, which is perfect. And uh, it's a very, very good fit for this application. Super lightweight, weighs about 11 pounds, um, runs cool, runs light, affordable. Has a lot of built-in di digital features for live sound applications like crossovers, uh, limiters, and those types of functions. But those don't get in the way for home usage. Uh, they're not particularly valuable for home use unless you buy multiple amplifiers and you get into buy amping and all that other stuff. But for my application, that's not relevant. I didn't want to pay a fortune for an extra amount of digital processing that didn't benefit me. Um, so I'm really pleased that Crown is offering this product in this price point uh, with these features. Um, one last thing that makes it particularly amenable to home use is that you can dim all the lights on the display. You can turn off this, this display. You can turn off the decoration lights that are bright blue. You can turn off the meters on the front if you want. Uh, and it makes it very unobtrusive. It just disappears. Because if you're in a dark room watching TV, you know, some really bright blue LEDs and blue lights can be awfully annoying. Uh, blue is the, a, a wavelength that your eyes are particularly sensitive to. Uh, that's why if you look at blue signs at night, you'll often notice that they are blurry. Um, the, the, what, the, the wavelengths scatter inside your eye. So blue is hard to focus on and your eyes are very sensitive. It's a bad color for uh, anything that's going to be used at night. If you want to preserve your night vision, that's why night lights for helicopter pilots and all that else are always red, other end of the spectrum, because your eyes aren't as sensitive to red. Uh, just a little aside there, but... Yeah, very pleased with it. Price point on this is very reasonable uh, if you compare, you know, dollar per watt and all that. 
It can be easily rack mounted if you decide you want to stick it in a rack and go multiple amps. For my purposes, it's just a two channel system. There's no need for that. Uh, all right, so this is the Crown XLS 1502 in a home stereo application. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Like this video. Uh, let me know if there's any other uh, information about this amp you'd like to see because it's not marketed for home use. It just happens to be pretty suitable for it. Uh, this is G5, or come back to you later.